Oh, oh! Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to more Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we returned Sparrot's... No, we didn't return it. We got him a new crystal ball, because his old one had broke. And also, we got money got paid from Batro. Though it wasn't enough, and in between episodes, I had to win the jackpot at Dodo's skydiving game three times. Uh, that was the source of many for a lot of frustration. I... Well... Mmm... Oh, the things I want to torture you with. Mm. What the? Ah, uh, yes, I want. To can I just use the marathon method, please? Just the marathon method, where I can just do it ten times in a row without having to go through your walls of stupid text. Ah. Ah. Uh. You single-handedly made you made me forget about my allergies. You and your stupid game. Yes! Skill! Hashtag skill. Yeah. So. I go- I went ahead and upgraded our shield. I upgraded the divine shield into the goddess shield. This is the best shield in the game. Uh, almost. Just you stick with us for a couple episodes and you'll see why it's not. And so it has a better health bar, and it also regenerates, so that's cool too. I also upgraded our bow into the... I forgot the name of it, into the sacred bow. And this is, I believe, the most powerful bow and the uh, most powerful item in the game, I think, at full power when it's fully charged. So, yeah, and right now... In this episode, starting off, we're going to buy the bug metal, so I can show you guys what it does. That right there is a bug metal. As long as you're carrying that, you'll be able to see on your map where bugs can be found. Super useful. Quite expensive, but if you're, you're, you like catching bugs, it's indispensable. I'll sell it for a thousand rupees. You want to buy it? You bet I do. And now I have 235 rupees left. Oh snap. You got a bug metal. Areas with insects can now be marked. Uh, will now be marked with dot on your map. You can you can open your map to see where the bugs like to hang out. There they are. There it is. And I went ahead and emptied <laughs> awkward silence as I lose continue to lose money. I went ahead and emptied part of my pouch so that it can accommodate this. So let's try it out. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, uh, so there are bugs e everywhere. Seriously, there are bugs everywhere. Like, they're all over the place. Wow, uh, yeah, so there are, are four on the Isle of the Goddess. There are two here. One is, I'm pretty, yeah, one is a Skyloft Stag Beetle or whatever it is. And the other one is, like, a Skyloft Mantis, so... Yeah, wow, they're everywhere. I'm not going to get them, but yeah, now you know. Now, as for our pouch, I have a life metal, and this is going to be a life metal too in a second. And I have the Guardian Potion Plus, which will allow us to be invincible for three minutes. I have the Stamina Potion Plus, which will allow us to run for an unlimited amount of time for three minutes. And I have the potion metal, which will extend, which will multiply the times of these, allowing us to be invincible and run forever. Well, run without getting tired for a full nine minutes. So, uh, I'm not going to tell you why I have all this, but 
let's just say if you guys are playing it along with me, you're going to want to do the same thing. Now, I'm going to stop for a second, and I'll cut back. I'm going to equip the the second life medal, so I'll be right back. Alright then, there's our second medal. Uh, you can even see it in a second once I get healed. There it is. And there we are. This is our pouch for today, or for the next few episodes. Let's go. So let's go ahead and run and go through this way. And let's go to the Lanera region, shall we? To a new area. So, man, we're, we've come so far. Look at our heart gauge. Look at just everything about us. We, we scream adventure trying to look without crashing. You see that shield? That's that's a beautiful shield right there. We have upgraded everything in the game. We have 100%ed the items. That's amazing. It just seems like... It just seems like... Well, it has been only three months, but... In just the three months, I've gone from saying... Um, from saying, quote, There's going to be no gutter speak on this channel. We don't speak that here. No gutter speak. To... Now where I'm playing and talking. I'm not going to say like a pro, but it's much better than when I started out. And I've gotten all this equipment, and man, it just, it feels good. I have to say that. It just feels good. Now, you're probably wondering why I, ooh, let's grab that. You're probably wondering why I came all this, why I landed here, in case you've played the game before. This is actually not where you should land. You should land right where you first landed when you came to this area very early on in the game. But apparently, I never had checked that that bird statue, so I'm not able to land there. So I have to hike back through the caves. So I will be right back. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Are we here? Yeah, we're here. I didn't lose a single heart the entire way, which I'm proud of that. Whoa! Oh, so apparently we did. We, I think we had to hike here. Okay. Hey, you over there. Say, is that my buddy Link? It is. You have come at the perfect time. I have met. I have something I want to show you. Come on up here, Gorko, buddy. Uh, what's what's Russian for friend? I forgot. I used to know. I've watched enough Hogan's Heroes to know. Yes, I love Hogan's Heroes. Hello. Hello, Link. Man, he's so cool. How is your search for that sacred flame going? Did you find it? Actually, I found three. I've been, I have been dying to hear whether you found it. Well, did you? So, after that wild, long adventure, you found it. Link, you truly are amazing. Or are truly amazing. You know... I think it is time to tell you what I found about found out about the legend of the three dragons. I am certain there is a hidden area just beyond here in the desert. You see, I found a nar narrow passageway that was too tight for me to fit through. And my gut tells me that one of the three dragons of legend, the thunder dragon, lives there. These robots are connected to him somehow, I'm sure of it, sure of it bud. The thunder dragon, robots and time shift stones? What an adventure! I love this guy. I just remembered, Link. I have something to report on the excavation project you invested in earlier. I found ho loads of time shift stones. Now I can pay you back ten times what you gave me. Wait, what? What? Did we give him money? Wait, is this... No, this isn't Gorko. Is it? Wait. I'm confused. I'm incredibly confused. Oh, this is Golo! Oh, he's Gorko's assistant! Oh! Oh, that's cool. Gorko likes to call on him for physical field work, such as archaeological digs. Oh, okay. That's cool. Sorry, I didn't... I don't want to make the racist joke that you all look like, and really you don't, but... Like... You have scrolls. <laughs> I immediately 
think that you're... Wait a minute. There's a chest over there. I see a chest. Okay, I'm... I know we have a lot to do this episode, but let's just go grab that chest. Let's leave that guy alone. Obviously, he has a major... Uh, he has a really bad hair day today. Let's just run by him. And continue on, and... Grab that. And it's actually going to be shorter for us to jump down, so let's do that. Evil Crystal. Eh, not really worth it, especially because we don't need to upgrade anything. But it's 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 there. Okay. Neat. Oh my word, I thought I thought you were a I thought he was a Liz, a Liz Alphos, and it kinda scared me. It's funny, because we had just talked to him not one minute ago, and I thought he was a Liz Alphos. Okay, so where you want to go is, it's a little bit vague, but you want to go this way. You see there is a claw shot target, and in typical Twilight Princess fashion, let's we just claw shot across this gorge. I know this is not Twilight Princess, but Twilight Princess started the whole double claw shots thing, so I have to go to that one first. And that one. And there. And man, my allergies. Ugh. I mean, like, I'm not sneezing and my eyes aren't running or anything, but it's ma making my my mouth itch. It's horrible. I just want to take a rope, connect it out of my nose and my mouth, and just, like, tug on it. It's horrible. Oh, this place. I remember this place. Okay. And was that chest there before? Certainly not. Wait, what does it say? Ahead is, is Laneru Sand Sea, an area covered in an ocean of sand. There are lots of ancient ruins there. Okay. What is this for? Do, have we gotten this before? A monster horn. Okay, I'm hoping that we did not just... That I did not just walk by this when we were in this cave before. Some Bokblins carry a monster horn on their waist. If you latch onto it and pull with your whip... It's, it is possible to claim it for yourself. Oh, that I think that we actually did miss it. That's kind of embarrassing. And also, Golo is no longer blocking this path. So we can do what we tried to do then. And I'm not going to use one of my bombs. Let's use one of their bombs. And roll it in there. And it'll blow up. And now we can crawl through. We could have done this so many episodes ago. It's not even funny. Okay, I'm not going... What's in here? Rupees? Eh, I could use some rupees. There's obviously a... A guy here. A gossip stone. What does he have to say? Boing-oing. He gives us a... Monster claw, which is pretty useful. Those are actually kind of rare. And let's talk to him. Hey, buddy. Oddly enough, it seems that drawing a circle upon certain strange walls will produce something round. Dun dun dun! I believe we've done that, and it gives us bombs. You're a little bit behind the curve, so... I'll give you a bomb. And... Three, two, one... We killed him! We actually didn't, because he, he can clone himself. Okay, so let's just walk through the cave before I, I waste any more time. Man, this is cool. This is Laneru Gorge. Legend tells me a dragon loyal to the goddess is living in this area. Is that him over there? Pile of bones? Looks like we were too late. Signs indicate that an ancient civilization established a quarry here to mine the deposits of high-quality timeshift stones. What is going on with the screen? You guys saw that. Consequently, the terrain is intricately subdivided with the rem remnants of long-abandoned mining equipment such as mining carts on the tracks. That was... I almost missed that. And here's the last area of the Laneru region. And you guys saw what happened in the video there, right? That was not the Elgato this time. That was legit the game glitching. There were some really weird jump cuts there that were not done. Either they weren't done well by the staff of Nintendo, or they just 
the game was just glitching because that did not see that you did that was not good you guys saw that right the screen flashed black so yeah man this must be him he is huge can't go in his ribs he has a chain whoa 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 whoa, whoa. that's creepy um can ooh ugh, that's that's creepy What's he say? This is a fossil. Signs indicate that it has been here for many great years. Or great a great many years. I cannot read this episode. <laughs> like most episodes. So, he has a chain here. And we see it broke off. Oh, there's shiny. We can't drop down. We can't align ourselves. Besides, if we drop down, we couldn't get up. So, Beetle? Get the tough beetle. Fly down. There's a key. Let's zoom around. And there's our key. Fly up. That, this is the first time we've ever grabbed a key with the with the beetle. Let's fly it up. And into Link. There's our key. Small key. This key will open a locked door. You can only use it in this area. Okay, so where we want to go next is, you can see there's a locked door over here. This is a mini dungeon, which is really neat. We're going to fly the beetle here, and fly it into this rock pile. And let's go ahead and jump that gorge. This is a very long jump. Jump! There we go. Jump! There we go. And for some reason, I have no idea why this is a thing. You can pick this up. I have no idea what this is for. Like, it's not even for anything. It's just weird. And they're ants. Which I don't care. So let's go into the locked door. And let's... Uh, this is a, not really a mini dungeon because it's very linear. But... It's basically the ga the designers were like, "Hey, we haven't really done this so, done this much, so let's make an area designed specifically for the claw shots." And they did. This area is basically a claw shot heaven place, bro dog. There's going to be a jelly blob, isn't there? I don't want you. No jelly blobs. Oh, okay. There is a time shift cart. Okay, if we can activate this fast enough, we can talk to that robot. Quickly. We have to turn right and run. Oh. Okay, we can just... It doesn't even move. Okay. There are lots of big time shift stones here. Zrr. Did you get permission from Master Thunder Dragon to come, come here like we did? Vroom. We are just about to transport this time shift stone to Master Thunder Dragon. Weep. Oh, there it moves. Okay. Sweet. There are many type monsters. Vroom. Practice extreme caution. Vroom. Poor guy. He died. It's gonna be a... No, no monster? Okay. So we just press the switch to open the door. And we can run in as well. And here are our monsters. Let's go ahead and char charge one of these up. Kill him. Grab one of these. Now, if I had my whip out, I would have had the that Bokoblin do his electric slide dance, but alas, we can't. You know. This is not a... Th <sighs> you... No. You guys are not going to be a thing again. No. No, no! No, okay. Oh, my word. I probably peeked the mic there, and I'm sorry, but man... I hate Technoblints. Oh, you're a vertical. And there's the switch. Open the switch, uh, open the door, and there's our track. And this will go off to the side, but it'll make a convenient bridge here for us. And kill these guys before they're a thing. Man, I don't like them. Ooh, whip, whip, where's the whip? Yes! Okay, let's make them dance. Make them dance. 
Oh, I'm, I failed it. Oh, that was too bad. I wanted him to... Ooh! Thingy. Okay, so we'll climb up on these vines. And once I'm up here, before I go on the switch, if I have a choice... Yeah, okay. I'm going to equip my claw shots, because we're going to need them in this next area. So let's go ahead and jump down, not fall to our deaths, and go on this awesome bridge. You see what I mean? This is cool. Like, they never did this, and I think... What is this for? Okay, if need be. No! Okay. Um, to be fair, that, that was confusing. I thought there was going to be a button that would appear. But there's no button. So, uh, don't go on that. that that's there specifically to turn you around. Um, we can go here. What is that for? Is that confusing? Is that going to confuse us? What is this? Sorcery! No! Duh. Stupid sorcery, man. It's always sorceress. This is actually kind of hard. Of course, if you guys have played this game, you might be like, Paladin, it's super easy. You, you just do this. And I'm like, listen. Listen, it's, it's really, really hard. You guys use the cheat codes. You guys use Game Shark. Man, Game Shark, Shark used to be a thing. Like, way before the days of action replay, there was uh, Game Shark, and that was fun. <laughs> I never had one, but I saw people who did, and it was cool. Let's grab the stamina potion. Uh, not the potion, the stamina fruit. And not fall to our deaths and get blasted off the face of this chasm. Climb down. We're just going. Jump. Uh, let's not climb where there are no vines. Drop down. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, oh, there's a thing. Okay, uh, do we claw shot to the thing, or is there a button? I'm assuming there's no button. Oh, we are... Oh, it stopped, okay. No pressure, no pressure. I thought it was a, a sorcery. <laughs> I thought it was confusing. <laughs> Okay, so this is kind of the cool part. This is where the designers were like, Okay, you've come so far. You really deserve this. Watch. This is so cool. Look at this. The keys cannot touch us because we have the circle of the past. We are protected by the past of this land. This is really neat. Look at those. They're dying. Look at them. Well, they're not dying. They're just... They're just uh, being unborn, I guess. They're ceasing to exist. Why aren't we ceasing? That's a, This is a perfectly valid question. Why are we continuing to exist since we're in a past state? Why do, do they die and we don't? Valid question here. I'd really like to hear this from someone who knows what they're talking about. I'm really... Whoa! You! I, I'm really curious about this. And... Come on. There we go. Uh, we need our whip to trigger this. And switch it! Are we almost done? I think we are. I think we're almost out. Let's grab our claw shots. No, we need our bow. I think. Get off me! Get down! There we go. I don't think we... No, we don't need our bow. Okay. Uh, we need our claw shots again. Oh, my word. Yes! Oh, that doesn't kill him. No, it doesn't one-shot him. Uh, whip, 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 whip. Woohoo! Bye! Oh, we can't kill you with that. There we go. Woohoo! Da-da-da-da! Da-da-da! This is fun. Oh, we can't do that. Oh yeah, we're doing. Ow! Oh, oh, those don't cause us to fall, so I can just get hit. Okay, that's cool. I don't care if I'm hit. I have hearts galore. There's a chair out there, so I can just fully heal myself once this is over. Hit me! Hit me more! Get, get me! I want you to hurt me! Hurt me! Hurt me! Give me your worst! Oh. Uh, how I? 
do? What do I do? Oh, wow. Okay. Wait, why can't we just come up here? Are you serious? Why can't we just climb up here? <laughs> Seriously. The designers made this part. They designed the programming specifically for this that you cannot get up. If Link just put his hands above his head and jumped, he could make it. Okay. Jump. Run. Grab the fruit. Run this way. Running this way. Grabbing the other fruit. Grabbing this fruit. And done. Done. And we can heal ourselves a little bit. We should probably run before we get killed. And you're dead, too. And we do need the bow. Bow? Oh, I missed. Hey, look at me. Get... Oh, man. We're running. Ugh. He's he's after me. Okay, shoot me. Man, there's a lot here. <laughs> the designers are really just like, can you handle all this after all this time? Ugh. Avoid him. We have to actually kill this guy. And stab. And this and that. And hit me again. Hit me again. Come on, come on, come on. Hit me with it. Oh, you're dead. Let's hit you. You and you're dead. Woohoo! Like, yeah, yeah. Boom! This one too. Boom! Crash! Yeah! Can we. Oh, we have to climb up here to target that. Okay. Man, that was exhilarating. That was actually really fun. Are you guys impressed with how good the game designers design? Oh, oh no. No, 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 no! Oh no, no, no! <laughs> I got locked in. Uh, I have to start from the beginning, don't I? Well, you guys get to see the, the area being designed again. Or you get to see the good game design again. Get off me. Um, you, sir, are dead. And you shoot me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And let go of your bombs while I kill this guy. And your little bombs, your little baby bombs are gone. What do you have? Are you going to time out? You are, your time is over. Bye. And... You, ow! I got shocked. I got shocked again. And you are d out down for the count. And you, Bemos, as well. I, oh my word, my sword desynchronized. There we go. I can't stab because my sword's desynchronized. Okay, there we go. This time, let's not time out. And there we go. And let's not go back in. To look at the good game design. Though seriously, that room is very well designed. It's challenging, but it doesn't overwhelm you. Very nice. Where no secrets, no no double whammies, no wombo combos, just Oh, they're okay, they had to make it a little bit of challenge. Jump! There you go. Uh there's a bomb thing there. This isn't gonna leave us no. It's, the game slowed down there for a moment. Grab that. Carry the bomb up here. Man, really, this is just the game designer saying, Hey, we made this game, and we did it very well. Now look at that tree. <laughs> now you guys just look at our good game design. And appreciate us. Now, if credits rolled across the screen, that would add another layer of challenge. I'm surprised they didn't do that. And there we are. We're done. We did it. This will just continue on here very slowly. Let's do it. Come on. Come here. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Will it fast forward? No, it won't. It'll, oh, it'll fade to black. Okay, that works. That works very well. <laughs> Actually, it faded to black in, with the same amount of time that it would if we had just watched it. I don't get why the black was necessary. And there's the dragon. He's back to life. Yay. And this 
uh, enhance the power. Now let's sit down. Listen to this music. Now I know he's coughing, but let's just listen to the music for a moment. Ah, that music. Ah, it's so relaxing. How could you be sick? This is good music. Hey, what's going on with you? Do you need a NyQuil, whatever that is? <laughs> Oh, hello. I haven't had a visitor like you in quite a while. You're a human, aren't you? You must be, have some reason for coming this far. What, what, what is it? I see. So you're Link from the sky. <coughs> That's not much of a name, is it? How about I add a model number to your name like my friends have got? Maybe LD Link 16. Um, by the way... LD Link 16 is a reference that this is the 16th Zelda game, and LD means something too. If it does, I'll put it on screen right now. Oh, I can tell that you don't like the sound of that. That's a shame. <coughs> so, what can I do for you? Ah, uh, you say you need me to teach you a song? <coughs> Hold on now, did you just say that you came from the sky, Link? Then you're the hero chosen by the goddess, aren't you? <coughs> I see. Well, that is something. Although I must apologize. You see, I can't really help you. <coughs> I may have enough strength for a brief chat like this, but... Well, as you can see, I am quite ill. <coughs> I am no sh in no shape to sing. And to think it was the goddess herself who entrusted me with this important duty... I feel the deepest shame. <laughs> Man. I sure wish we could help you. Wait, can we... Seriously, can we just do this? No, we can't. Now, I'd comment how cool you look, but I think you don't need that sort of a comment. You need, you need like, a doctor. So, I guess we'll find a way to fix you... Next episode. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys, but it, it's time, and yeah. So, next episode. Oh, wait, let me, just a second. Uh, there we go, backdrop. Um, sit. There we go. So, next episode, we will... Find a way to heal this guy, hopefully. Hopefully there is a way, and hopefully we don't have to just give up before we can defeat Demise. We're so close to getting the Triforce, but, you know, we we should be able to find a way. We've been able to pull off some cr pretty crazy stuff, so healing this guy shouldn't be t that, m that big of a task. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon for another Pal Play Skyward Sword. Bye now.